Now that we have our rocket all painted, um, we're going to go at it with sandpaper, particularly here on the nose cone where we had to rough it up a lot so the primer would stick to the plastic. Um, I'm going to start with an 80 grit and eventually work our way up to um, a 400 grit wet sand. So um, just kind of hitting all the rough spots and we want pretty smooth finish and then after we're done with that we will hit it again with um, the primer to uh, replace any spots that are uh, too thin. So let's get that started. Keep the mess down in the area. I've got a garbage bag underneath me uh, to catch all the dust that I'm sanding off. Um, also, just as uh, general safety precautions, I've got glasses on as well as a dust mask. It's going to take a lot of sanding to get this to where you want it to be, um, particularly on the nose cone. We used a uh, high solid automotive paint. Um, so it was laid on real thick, which filled in all of our uh, sandy marks real well. Um, and because of the paint, we'll probably only need to do one more uh, sanding and painting coat after this. Um, if you're using just a standard uh, spray paint, you might have to do a few more coats than uh, we will have to. Also, when it comes to sanding your fillets and your fins, um, you'll want to get a uh, piece of foam or a sponge and wrap your sandpaper around the sponge folded in half to get that nice round uh, corner shape on your fillets for a smooth finish. After you've done your first round of sanding, you'll want to paint it again to fill in any low spots, uh, bumps, or the spirals that didn't get filled in with your first coat. Um, just kind of sand and repeat and sand and paint again until you've got a uh, smooth finish. The better the finish on the undercoat, the better your glossy overcoat will look.